In our musical system, each pitch gets a letter name. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. As you see, these notes are all played on the white keys of a keyboard, and every eighth pitch, the name starts over again. So here we have another A. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and so on up the keyboard here. The black keys are called sharps and flats. And just to confuse you, any black key can be called a sharp or a flat. Um, depends on how you think about it. This key right here, which is above F and below G, can either be F sharp or G flat. The distance between two pitches is called an interval. Any two pitches is an interval. The interval between any two consecutive notes, be they black or white on the keyboard, is called a half step. So it's a half step from F to F sharp. It's another half step from F sharp to G. Two half steps make a whole step. So the distance between F and G is a full whole step. Interval of two steps is called a skip. And anything larger than that is called a leap. An interval of eighth notes, I'm sorry, an interval of eight notes is called an octave. And the two notes separated by an octave sound so much like each other that we call them by the same name. This is a C, and this is a C, and this is a C. A melody that's mostly made up of steps, like this one, is called conjunct, and one that features many leaps, like this one, is called disjunct. That's what makes it hard to sing. A scale used to build a melody is called a key. At the beginning of most pieces, a composer writes a key signature that shows how many sharps or flats should be played. The first and last note of every scale is called the tonic, which functions as a home base for any melody built on that scale. In most cases, the melody will not feel finished until it returns to the tonic. This hierarchy of notes that creates a yearning for the home key is called tonality, and most Western music since 1600 has used it. The most common scale in Western music is the major scale. And you'll notice that that's made out of whole steps and half steps. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. The next most common scale has the half steps in a just slightly different arrangement. That's called a minor scale. And you notice in the major, the half steps are a little higher. You've got a whole step, a whole step, and a half step. But in minor, you've just got a whole step a half step and a whole step. And for whatever reason, that sounds kind of sad to our ears. A melody with those half steps down a little bit lower sounds sad. Row, row, row your boat's a perfectly happy little tune. But if I put the half step in a different place, You'll notice, for instance, that if I were to sing row, row, row your boat and stop before the last note, it would sound unfinished. That's because your ear uses the arrangements of half steps and whole steps like landmarks on a landscape. It knows that after a certain series of half steps and whole steps, that it's going That wasn't right. It can only go one place, 
and sound right. Once it gets to this note here, it has to go home. Any kind of music that uses that principle is called tonal music. And most Western music is tonal. Most music that we listen to has a home, and we have to go home. Since the Middle Ages, most Western European music has used the principle of what we call harmony, or this is the sounding of more than one pitch simultaneously. A group of pitches sounded simultaneously is called a chord. It's called a major chord, a C major chord, actually, because the bottom note is C, and then I have an E, and then I have a G, put another C on top, and that's a chord. When the pitches go well with each other, we say that they are consonant. That's a pretty sound. Those are all consonant sounds. But if they sound strident together, we say that's dissonant. 